Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. I'm about to read the cards for you. This reading is for waxing gibbous moon or second quarter moon leading up to the full moon in Capricorn. It's taking place during the mid-July of 2024. This is going to be a message from Spirit to help you with your moon manifestation practice. So if you were with us last time on the last uh, video, we did... Um, <clears throat> the first, we made our intentions with the new moon in Cancer. And uh, so, if you followed along with that, then this reading will also tie right into that. It will allow you to, um, uh, it will guide you toward the next phase of the moon and the next phase of your manifestation practice. Okay? Now, if you didn't uh, have anything to do with that last video and you don't have an intention specifically towards manifesting for this don't worry about that you can still the reading will still apply to you if you know if it is your reading if just like any other tarot reading if it resonates with you it is still your message okay so i invite you to stay stick around and check it out um the second quarter moon or the waxing gibbous moon it uh is the time that um the phase that we're in with that regard is the one where we are, <clears throat> we've already made our intentions. We have something to work on. We're trying to get somewhere. And uh, we are now in the phase where we are needing to muster strength, to overcome obstacles, to perhaps take different approaches if necessary, you know, to look around and see if we need to refine the strategy at all. But the basic idea is this is going to be, this reading is called Advice from the Universe. And the purpose is to help you to just keep going, get to where you're supposed to go, okay? Um, with the most ease <laughs> and with the best, the best success, hopefully. So that's what we're aiming to do here. Uh, what I have here out uh, in the front is um, a mudra. This card was selected for by Spirit for the Collective. So we're going to talk about this a little bit more later on. But for right now, we're going to start with our, our actual reading. Um, this reading, like I said, is Advice from the Universe. So let's go ahead and get started and find out, Leo, what it is that you need to know right now. We're going to find out what you need a new perspective on. And also, what action to take, okay? So, Spirit, please uh, tell us what Leo needs to know right now. Thank you. Okay. Okay, there's our one. Ooh. Okay. Anything else? One more card, please. There we go. Okay. Leo. Okay, the first one that came out was the King of Rods, or King of Wands, if you will. This is the Aquarian Tarot. So the images are a little uh, interesting, I think, and um, a little different. So we have the King of Rods, the Seven of Cups, and what else do we have here? Ooh, the world. All right. This is very interesting, Leo. Hmm. Okay. The king of rods. He is spirit guided. He's passionate. He's fire sign, just like you. This is kind of like your one of your cards, major cards. It's not a major arcana, but you do have a major arcana here with the world. And that's... Uh, in the position of the action to take. We have the Seven of Cups in the new perspective. So I think um, this might mean that, you know, we need to possibly, there's a, a, a rod there, a wand. Um, the Seven of Cups being a new perspective, it looks like you're going to have some choices and some options to uh, consider here. And you need to know that something. this is something significant to focus on about your situation. That you, this, this being a fire sign, I, I would, this is you. This is what you're embodying, your energy right now. 
and with the world as being your action to take. So something profound to a completion, to a victory, to a, um, to, you know, a big change, a, like the end of the of a, a major cycle in your life is, is something to do with your action. Okay. Okay. So I see this as you are the king of rods. You are uh, loyal and just and driven by passion, driven by spirit, um, honorable, an honorable person. Um, you have this fire about you and you know that you're protected by spirit and here a new perspective for you might be maybe you need to think about the maybe you have too many ideas like you have so many ideas so many things that you that are out there for you to pursue however um this the perspective could be that you need to narrow that focus um so that you don't you know because this is so, such a scattered set, uh, way of you know there's there's you know you're having to deal with so many choices and options that it's keeping you know stagnation it's keeping you stagnant it's keeping you uh holding back your um your attainment okay maybe a change is needed to um, focus more on what it is you want to attain one thing at a time or something like that the world as your action i think that's another uh way another action to take would be to uh um, to travel, to, um, you know, maybe even mentally travel to completion, um, to a victory. Um, there's, there's your, your sign is in here too. This is, um, it's another way of, you know, make, taking action in order to avoid stagnation because you want to move forward you want to get into this position where you're at the world again your completion your your uh, you have an achievement so the action i think you need to take is to make that um to make that achievement to decide and to make your achievement but let me go ahead and check and get some more information here i have another deck to use that i want to clarify this with a little bit more these are woodland war wardens, and they are like spirit animals that help us with, um, you know, advice from the universe about what, how to cope with this period of the moon phase we're in, and especially in, in relation to what we're trying to manifest. Okay, what, what do we need? What, what advice and help do we need for that? Leo. Okay. All right. We have protection and introspection. The numbers are 21 and 9. Okay, Leo. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the, uh, see what the skunk and magnolia and the weasel and the pine have for us and the way of advice from the guidebook here. So from the uh, number 21 for the skunk and magnolia. Let's see what he says. It's about protection. And king of rods is protect, protected. We know that. We, he's protected from fire. He's, he has spiritual protection. The skunk and magnolia. The skunk knows how to shield itself by spraying its foes with a foul odor. Its black and white fur serves as a warning to all would-be assailants. Similarly, the magnolia is known for its large waxy leaves and copious blooms. 
Its thick petaled flowers are some of the oldest on earth, having evolved to endure damage from beetles. That reminds me of that King of Wands too, because he has protection because he's like the salamander on the Rider Way is an indication of you know he, he he can survive the fire and and he he's not worried because he has he knows he has protection. So the message here is you are safe. Your boundaries are respected and your home is intact. Remember that when you are protected, it becomes your duty to protect others. Extend your shelter to those without one. Self-protection can hinder growth. You may be misinterpreting a situation and acting defensively. Ask yourself why you feel the need for armor. Could greater vulnerability benefit you? And ask yourself, who or what makes me feel safe? Okay. All right, and let's look at the weasel and pine. That's number nine. The weasel and pine. Okay, and this signifies introspection. All right. Weasels can be warriors or spies, moving quickly and often alone. They make observations from afar and adjust their plans accordingly. Remember that solitary creatures are nothing to fear, and an introverted nature is nothing to feel ashamed of. Knowing oneself and being comfortable alone are desirable skills. Like the weasel, the pine tree works to be self-sufficient. One of the fastest growing evergreens, its prickly needles have a waxy coating that helps them retain water. You are called to a time of solitude. Isolation allows for contemplation, which can lead to self-knowledge. You may be overcome with, okay, Leo is not the most introspective sign, of course, but that doesn't mean that you don't need some, okay? So um, with this Seven of Cups energy here too being a new perspective, I think with this introspection, you are asked to give, to take the time to find out what you really desire inside. What is your passion? What is your main Ace of Wands, if you will, your fire? And it's important to do that because what you have to come is a completion a victory and an attainment of some sort of an of enlightenment, at least, if not a, a material one as well with the world card here. But going along with the weasel and pine, you may be overcome by loneliness. Think of the weasel's joy in solitude. Practice caring for yourself when you're alone. Meditate on the waxen needles of the pine tree. Ask yourself what protections you may need to remain green and healthy year-round. So that's another thing about protection. Okay, so um, what do you need to know? You need to, you need to think about protection, boundaries. You, you know that, they, that your boundaries exist and that you are protected. And you need to ask yourself what other protections you might need to remain green and healthy year-round. Um, so ask yourself, when do I like to be alone? And how can I better understand and respect myself? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and ask for a little bit more advice. This advice is going to come from the angels. This is the angel oracle deck, and it will help us to give us more clear, specific advice and help us to cope and to give us strength for this next uh, period, moon period. So Spirit, please, what angel message do you have for Leo at this time? All right, let's take this one. Spirit says, ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, 
you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Okay? So this is what Spirit's doing. It's asking you to ground yourself. All right, ground yourself. You're protected. Stay protected. All right. Do some grounding. Do some, um, you know, grounding with, uh, you know, skin or bare feet on the earth. Uh, ground yourself with the uh, crystals that ground you. The earth, earth crystal. You know, they, they are grounding because they, they come from the earth. So you are a fire sign and you need some grounding with some earth energy. All right. Okay, I hope that you find that helpful, that, that resonates with you, and that helps you to move forward in your uh, manifestation. I'm going to go ahead and put these cards away now. We're going to move right along. We have, just like last week, I have a two-card spread for you about your uh, career and life oracle messages. So, Spirit, what do you have for Leo at this time concerning career and life situations. All right. Let's see what we've got here. All right. For Leo. There's one. Okay, there's going to be the next one. Okay. Wow. Real passion. Stop wasting time in dead-end jobs and find your true passion. It's fine to experiment, but don't settle for less than you truly deserve. Okay, Leo, there you go. You're a very passionate sign. Real passion is what you need. You're also a very strong leader. This is power position. Spirit says you are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. Okay. So yes, Leo, please don't forget when you're leading others, guide them with compassion. All right. So that's all for now for that reading. We have a couple more elements here in this video. The um, What I want to do soon is let you ask spirit a question based on timing okay you had a yes no question last time this one is about timing so if you have a question uh, that starts with the word when when do i get this when do i need to do that when can i expect such and such to happen uh, some kind of question that has to do with timing Go ahead and formulate that, and Spirit will answer that for us in a moment. While you're coming up with that question, I'll talk about this mudra here. This is the mudra that was chosen by Spirit for the collective. This is um, a, quite appropriate for this week because we are in the moon is moving into Libra, Scorpio, and then Sagittarius. Um, so this is going to help us to find balance. Help us to navigate those emotional roller coasters through the Scorpio and Sagittarius period as well. So, um, with that being said, let's go ahead and see if we can form, uh, practice this mudra right fast. Um, so, looks like the, the ring finger and thumb is making a loop, you see, and the, the other fingers are out. And I'm going to go ahead and read this uh, about this mudra. The Earth Mudra, the Prithivi Mudra, sharpens one's sense of smell and is good for the liver, nails, skin, hair, and bones. On a mental, spiritual level, it helps one to find equanimity and cope with changing moods. Our frame of mind determines our quality of life. We have considerable control over this through our thoughts. It is up to us to decide where to put the emphasis, to decide what is important and genuine. To what does us good and what gives us fulfillment. Easier said than done, perhaps, but it's well worth trying. So it's like you are sitting in your boat and rowing slowly and steadily toward your dream island. There you can find all that your heart desires. 
And the um, affirmation that goes with this is, My life is a gift. I respect and value this gift and make the best of it. Okay. And so that is your mudra. All right, let's take, uh, go ahead and take a chance to ask Spirit the question that has to do with timing. And we will uh, shuffle and see what Spirit has for us. What answer? What is the answer for Leo at this time concerning timing? Thank you, Spirit, very much. Concerning timing. I think this might be it right here. Spirit says within three months. So the answer to your question about timing is within three months. Okay. I hope that helps you. I hope you found this reading educational, entertaining, helpful in some way. Um, I hope that it helps you to progress towards your manifestation. If you would like to follow along with this process of manifesting with the moon phases, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel, please, so that you can uh, follow along with us. And uh, if you found this uh, information useful, helpful, delightful in any way, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. That will help us to boost the channel. I really do appreciate you, Leo. I appreciate uh, having you here to... Um, to share with us um, the, the growth that we get from manifesting with the moon or just asking spirit for guidance. And so um, I guess that's all for now. Um, I do appreciate you. Love you very much. See you next time. Love and light.